Time for baseball of the AAA variety as the show brings you coverage from the International League. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Toledo Mud Hens and the Louisville Bats. Digging in now, Daniel Pinero. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Now the 2 1 pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. The 2 2 one more time. That turns out to be a good take on that front door breaking ball, but you have to wonder if that pitch buckled him at all. That was really close to clipping the inside corner. And he lays off, ball four, and the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. Bonero gets his lead at first, nobody out. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Here now the 2-2. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball in that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. And he got him. Now to the plate, Jorge Bonifacio. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. The 1-1 home. This one's down to third. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't get him out on the play. At the plate now, Frank Schwindel. One and two as the changeup had him out in front there. Hit in the air to shallow center. Cologne onto the grass. But he won't get there. It falls in. And he is in there. They couldn't get him at second. That is it. The first base is number 12. Brandon Dixon. Standing in now. Brandon Dixon. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. fouled away swing and a line drive that's in there base hit the runner from third crosses the plate and they've taken a one nothing lead that is good the left loop in now Troy Stokes grounder down the line at third and that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third one run scores and he's safe that is seven. the second baseman Darwell Lugo stepping in now Darwell Lugo and this is fouled at the plate Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. On full count. Three balls and two strikes. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. And that's going to get the job done. It's a base hit. And another runs across as this is now a 4-0 ball game. Batting it. The center fielder. Jacoby Jones. Into the box now. Jacoby Jones. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit batting to up. get that runner home the from catch. third. John. Four runs Jesus. here in this half inning. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And a 
slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Here's the game within the game. You have a better matchup on deck. You got a 3-1 count in this situation. Don't be afraid to put him on base and attack the next guy. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Striding in once again, Daniel Pinero. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Fouled away. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes and that will retire the side. Digging in Michael Ciani it lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the one and one pitch. That's ball two. Christian Colon waits on deck. The 3 1. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. At the plate, Christian Colon. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Fastball runs in tight here, and it's two and one. And he fouls this one off. The two two is laid off, and the count runs full. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two. Good job to lay off that one two breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at bat. Fielded cleanly. He'll whip this one to first in time and that ends the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Number 19. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Just off the outside that time. Laid off for a ball. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good. And that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. Jankowski is there to put it away for route number one. At the plate, Jorge Bonifacio. Jorge and he takes ball two and it's two and one wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner swung on and lifted in the air to left center he's through first and hustling for second and that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double now batting the designated hitter spring to the plate now, Frank Schwindel. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. To two balls and two strikes now. The two two. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Here now the 2-2. is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Brandon Dixon steps in now. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Brandon Dixon. Ball and two strikes now. 
That's a really nice thing about pitching with the base open. You can work out of the strike zone a little bit more and try to get a guy to chase your pitch just like that one. Fouled off. The next one two pitch swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning. Stepping in Derek Dietrich and they've got some work to do early on down four nothing already. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Right side. And that is through into right field for a single. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out their half of the second inning. Batting fifth, the third baseman. So now to the plate, India. Jonathan India. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. And here's a slider, strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Gavin Lavalley. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Fastball right back to the mound. On to the shortstop at second, but it's thrown away. And they won't get him as he's able to advance from first to third on what would certainly be scored a throwing error. Stepping up to the plate, Tyler Stevenson. He's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Now the one and one pitch. Line toward right center. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Into the box, Stuart Fairchild. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So digging in now, Troy Stokes. He drove home two with a single in his last plate appearance. And that misses two and one. Two and two. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. High in the air out towards shallow right. Jankowski is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. Standing in, Dawa Lugo looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Now the 2 1 pitch. the zone it's gone full now to three and two Jacoby Jones will be next this one's down to third throw on to first two gone into the box now, now Jacoby that. Jones looking to put the ball Jacoby. in play here he went down on strikes in his first at bat a one one is taken for ball two Hit in the air to shallow center. In comes the center fielder. He's there, but oh, he missed it. He'll get it into second, and he'll get in there safely. Now that Captain John Nunez. In now, John Nunez. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. He's not having his best outing in this one. And I think that curveball is part of the reason why. He couldn't get on top of that one, and that's not the first time that's happened. On to Dietrich at first, and that'll end the inning.
bottom of the third now. Stepping in, Alfredo Rodriguez. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. On the ground, up the middle. And that'll get on by into center field for a leadoff single. Center fielder, number 16. Michael Ciani. At the plate, Michael Ciani. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Hey, no shame in that. Your eyes light up when that heater comes above the belt. That's so tough to lay off of. In the dirt. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Here now the 2-2. High in the air into shallow left center. Left fielder coming on. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Ready for another chance. Christian Colon, 0 for 1 here in the early going. 4 to 1 is our score here in inning number 3. On that fastball is too much for him there. 1 and 2. Into center field, line drive base hit. He'll come home with it. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. The right fielder, number 31, Travis. Into the box now, Travis Jankowski. And he misses two and one. Hit in the air to right field. Right fielder is on the run. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now at the plate, Derek Dietrich. He reached on a single in his first try. Derek Dietrich. The 2 1 is swung on and missed for strike number two. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Wait, Justin Schaefer answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Coming to the plate now, Daniel Pinero comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. The 2-1. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. But this will land untouched. Another 2-2 offering. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Count still full, three and two. Payoff pitch one more time. Donnie finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. Now batter. Stepping into the box, number 19. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. 2-2, two -two, here it is. And this pitch is taken high and away to fill the count. It's 3-2. and two. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit up there. Both. Now, meanwhile here, this ball's hit fairly well down that left field line, and it's going to stay fair. It's a home run. To the plate now, Jorge Bonifacio. Slow roller down the third baseline. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. The next will be the designated hitter, Frank Schwindel. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. The set and the 1 1 pitch. Change up just off the black, and it's 2 and 1. The 
little early and now it's even at two and two. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. A one-and-one one count. Here's the pitch. Hit in the air to shallow center. Center fielder coming on. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Now in the box, Jonathan India. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. Stokes is there, and he has it for the out. Settling in now, LeVal. Gavin Lavalley. He comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far after reaching on an error his first time up. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Count is 1 and 2 now. The pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Into the box, Tyler Stevenson. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw to first in plenty of time, and his side is retired. Stepping up now, Troy Stokes. He's one for two in the ball game. One one hit in the air down the right field line but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball the one two is laid off for ball two grounded back up the middle and that's a base hit so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Now that is the second baseman, Dawel Lugo. At the plate now, Dawel Lugo. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. Jacoby Jones, the next to hit. One for two the in the ball game thus far. Jacoby Jones. Now the one and one pitch. We're in the fifth inning here. 5 2 is our score. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. One there. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Digging in the switch hitter, John Nunez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. A 1 1 is in there for the second strike. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Leading off the inning, Stuart Fairchild, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. One and one, here it comes. Hey! Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. The bad, the Digging bad. in, Alfredo Rodriguez. He singled Rodriguez. and scored in his first appearance Rodriguez. in this one. Hit on the ground toward the left. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Michael Ciani. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. 
hit on the ground down the first baseline. He's got it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So striding forward now, Daniel Pinero. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. One and two now as that one's fouled off. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Digging in and looking for more. Number 19. He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. The last at bat, Matty B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Called strike two, and now it's full three and two. Line drive to center field. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. Now batter, the right fielder, Jorge. Into the box, Jorge Bonifacio to one and two now. Working for the punch out and the offering down the first baseline. The one two is a swing and a miss at strike three. Striding in, Frank Swindell. It was a walk in his last trip. The 1-1. One, one. Skied into straightaway right. Jankowski's there for it. And that retires the side. Into the box now, Christian Cologne, one for two on his line so far in the game. In the air, down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom the of the right sixth. Fielder, so a runner at first Travis. now with nobody out. And that'll bring up Travis Jankowski next. Now the one and one pitch. And it's fouled away. 5-2 is our score here in inning number six. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He'll go to the bag for one. On to first, a double play. Striding into the box, Derek Dietrich. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Bonifacio looking up. And that one is gone. Standing in now, Jonathan India. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Takes this the other way to right. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Now batting. The designated hitter. Gavin LaValle. At the plate, Gavin LaValle lifted in the air out to left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Your Lucas Sims please. is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 39. 
Seventh inning ready to roll. Now batting, Brandon Dixon. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Too high that time, and it's three and one. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Line towards center field. And there's a base hit, so maybe some insurance here to lead off the seventh. Now back, left field, Troy Stokes Jr. So now to the plate, Troy Stokes. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Easy take there on the sinker, well off the outside. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. The next three, two. That misses. So a single and a walk. And it's first and second with nobody out. Now that second base. Ready once again. Dawa Lugo. He lined out in his last trip. So looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely. And that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater. And he's prepared for this next day, big. Now the three and two pitch. A bouncer up the middle. Reined in. Step on the back for one, and he's safe at first as he beats this one out by about a half a step. So stepping in, Jacoby Jones. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Fly ball right down the line and left. He'll run this down in foul territory, and here comes the runner from third. And the run is in to score on the sack fly as they double things up to lead it 6-3. to three. Ryan Hendricks will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. John Nunez will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. Two and one. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And he misses ball four, so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Daniel Pinero. Here's the 2-1. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. The 2 2 one more time. Hit in the air down the right field line. And that is off the wall but in foul territory. Foul ball. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Here now the 2-2. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Fouled away. Ball hit fouled off to the right and up into the crowd. The next 3 2. 
And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. Digging in to try it again. Tyler Stevenson, a hit in two tries so far. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Stokes moves over a few steps to his right as he's got it for the first out. Coming to the plate now, Stuart Fairchild. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Fairchild. 1-1. One, one. Fouls this one off. Here's another 2 2. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Ready now, Alfredo Rodriguez. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. One and one count. Here's the pitch. I got two on the count. On the ground up the middle scooped up and that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Amir Garrett will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 50. Amir. Now at the plate number 19 he went deep earlier and he's two for four to this point. Come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Garrett is a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty V, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls. And that can cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. Now batting. In now, Jorge Bonifacio. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. That's popped up. Left fielder coming on. He can't get to it. This one's down. Now that designated hitter. Plate now. Frank Schwindel. And he lays off for a ball. Two and one. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Into the corner and slicing foul. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And the run will score all the way from first. It's an eight to three ball game. Sal Romano will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. At the plate now, Brandon Dixon. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Heading out towards shallow right. In comes Jankowski. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Now better. So striding in, Troy Stokes. A couple of RBIs for him already and a chance for more here. And 
points in there above the belt, so it's even now, two and two. One of the most frustrating things for me to watch in this game is guys getting count leverage and not pull the trigger on a fastball middle in. That's why you play, to get in those situations where you can try and do damage. What do you want, the nasty slider? Sliced hard, but foul. Still only one out in the inning. Got him looking with the fastball as that had some two-seam movement to it. Two gone. Now that Standing in, Dawa Lugo. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Throw to second, and he's out. That'll end the inning, but they do score one on the play. Zach Houston is out from the bullpen now as he'll be making his first appearance of this young season. Number 43, Zach Houston. Into the box, Michael Ciani. Two balls and a strike. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Three and one. Christian Colon is on deck. He's set. Here's the three one. Now a swing and a miss as he was trying to flick that one the other way. And it's a full count now. Three and two. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off-speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change-ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. Now back. Second base Digging in once again, yeah. Christian Colon. A Go hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ballgame. The 1-2. Line toward the gap in left center. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. The right fielder, number 31, Travis Jankowski. Standing in now, Travis Jankowski. To second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Nate Jones comes on to work now, and he's their usual closer, but this is obviously not a save opportunity. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Line toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. In now, John Nunez. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. And indeed, he won't try to force it at second. He'll just flip on to first for the sure out. At the plate, Daniel Pinero. A hat trick already to his credit in this one, so he's looking to avoid the dreaded golden sombrero here. The 2-1 home is strike two swinging. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Ready for another shot now. Number 19. He's two for four in the ball game. The three-two pitch, grounded to first, right to him. On to first with it is Dietrich, and that'll end the inning. Set for the bottom of the ninth. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Derek Dietrich. He's two for three and looking for more here. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off speed hitter. You could tell by that last at bat, he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. And he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall.
now batter, the third baseman, Jonathan India. At the plate, Jonathan India rounded down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. From the stretch. Line to the right side. But this will be taken in at second base. Good positioning for the first out. So coming to the plate, Gavin LaValle. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to 2 and 1 now. This pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play, so the count goes to two and two now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Line drive to center field. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. Throw won't get him. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Stepping in now, Tyler Stevenson fouled off. The one two. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. He's set. Here's the two two. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Jose Cisnero enters from the bullpen, hoping to get the final two outs and put this one into the win column. Stuart Fairchild will be the first to meet him here, and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed. Bases loaded and only one out now. Ball taken there, two and one now. From the belt, the pitch. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. In there, the base hit. And the runner from third scores as they try and work their way back into this one. It's now a 9-4 ball game. Into the box now, Alfredo Rodriguez. Ball even at 2-2. Two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. I got three and two. Michael Ciani, who represents the potential tying run here, waits on deck. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Michael Ciani. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. The 1-1 one, one home. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Right fielder is on the run. Makes the catch. And that's the ball game. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. This one comes to a close with a 9-5 final. Toledo put up a four spot in the opening frame on the way to victory. Xiaoqing Chang earns his first win of the season. Jose Lopez worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. From my partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ballgame for the victorious Mudheads. Nine runs on 15 hits. One error, they left 12 men on base. For the bat, five runs, ten hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 44 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.